Hello again everyone, Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about what I believe is the most uh, reliable zodiac sign, and yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is, well, as far as Aries goes, well, Aries, uh, Aries could be rather impatient, and their impatience can often be connected with lack of persistence and becoming agitated and, and exasperated if something doesn't go right for them. Uh, right away or whether it's uh, a position at some job or what have you and the thing about it is uh, reliability is tied in with our dependability and, and follow through and because Aries just uh, due to their impatience they and they get uh, there's something with Aries too because of the easy provocation connected with them and they be, can become angry and exasperated easy it's something whether it's a job or a task or what have you it's really hard for um for me to say they're the most reliable zodiac sign so i'd say i don't believe aries would be if um it's like if somebody becomes you know angry at something or um, you know, becoming agitated they could stop whatever it is they are doing and they might not be dependent on uh, for the next uh, for the next job or what have you um, if they become exasperated something so I think you know those are those are you know you know such as like walking off a job and being being angry because they're angry about something that didn't get done um, really as fast as they wanted to or what have you so I don't really see Aries as the most reliable of zodiac signs now going to Taurus um, well Taurus can be uh, very loyal steadfast and trustworthy and very faithful they don't always start everything uh, real fast, but they're very strong finishers. They could be very, uh, have a lot of dedication, and Taurus has little deviation uh, from day to day. They're exceptionally persistent and patient, and if even if they're uh, they're involved in some job or task and it doesn't, uh, they're not able to get it, it done right away. They'll often have the patience and stick to it and just to, to stay with something, even if there are some minor setbacks in connection uh, with it. Uh, unlike Aries, I mean, Aries, of course, going back to them, they could just be like, well, I started this, I couldn't get it done uh, right away, and it didn't get done in X amount of time, and they might stop it. And uh, and it's really, it would be hard to, for Aries to be reliable on something that could be a protracted uh, project because it's time consuming, and they may often stop before they finish it, so it's hard to depend on them for anything painstaking, especially in time consuming, but Taurus could be the opposite. And I'll let you know at the end of the video whether I choose Taurus or not. Well, going to uh, Gemini. Well, it's very hard to pick Gemini as the most reliable of the zodiac signs. I mean, Gemini can be uh, very vacillating and mercurial. They may actually epitomize unreliability. And it's not any knock against Gemini, it's just telling what I believe is truthful and voracious about the zodiac sign. Gemini is a sign that is very hard to pin down on a, on a mental level, it's sometimes physical as well. Sagittarius is more physical, but Gemini it really can have an anathema and aversion to making commitments. Their variety, need for variety, sadly, could take place over, take precedence over their loyalty. A lot of this has to do with their superficial nature. They're often very superficial in their uh, connections. They don't like to, I mean, if they have to be somewhere, uh, meet someone at a certain time and, and have to be there and be Mr. or Mrs. Punctuality, I think in their mind that, that shows they're becoming closer to you and they don't want to give that impression uh, to others. And Or if they have to be somewhere at a certain time, in doing so in a consistent manner, it could be very difficult for them uh, because this is such a restless sign as well and they don't really like to have to be pinned down to have to do something uh, at a certain time, especially if it's on a consistent uh, basis. And the thing about Gemini, what I've noticed, I don't know if any of you have had this experience with them. A lot of them, Gemini people, they'll be like, if you uh, if you call them on something like that and they don't they don't show up and you confront them about it later on, they're like, well, oh, it's uh, they act like it's no big deal or stuff happens. And they're almost, they turn around and become exasperated at you for confronting them about it. But anyway, I'd say no to Gemini as far as being the most reliable of the zodiac signs. Now going to the zodiac sign Cancer. Cancer is interesting because Cancer 
is a, a sign, I mean, they're very dedicated, devoted, and tenacious, and they often will show their unequivocal love and dedication to things, to a cause, to a person, or what have you. But you have to keep in mind, though, that cancer can be very moody and temperamental. They might not always feel like doing uh, something. A lot of uh, their actions are predicated on their on their moods. And I mean, you could depend on them for, for certain things at certain times, but cancer, if they're in a bad mood, they're, they'll let their mood swing sometime um, dictate their course of action if they're gonna be there uh, for somebody uh, or not, because they are very, I mean, a cancer again can be very fickle, moody, and temperamental. So it's hard for me to say cancer is, uh, the most reliable they may not be the most unreliable but they're certainly it's hard for me to say they're the most reliable of the zodiac signs now going to leo well leo of course i mean could be i mean as a fixed sign they have um and they're very i mean they can be very loyal so that could be tied into their to good reliability uh i mean leo is very dignified they're very loyal and they're very magnanimous and generous especially to those that have helped them and they're often about reciprocation the thing about leo is and now their reliability is like a friend and standing up for somebody they have that a uh, lot of courage and fortitude and will often stand by uh, their friends through trials and tribulations but the thing about leo what may make them not quite the most reliable zodiac sign they might be you know around a close second or third or something but with me, uh, it's something about them with their extravagant nature, actually, you know, that could play a role and probably think, well, how can that play a role, Edwin? Well, the thing about it is, I mean, Leos are, are very generous and magnanimous people. Don't get me wrong. They're often good for loans. Uh, but the thing about it is if Leo borrows money from somebody, they could be very extravagant. Sometimes they're, uh, on occasion, you'll see a Leo be the one that will ask somebody for something some money and they may have difficulty paying it back because they are extravagant on average and they might find a way to to not be able to do that basically because or, or they, they'll pay you back but it might take them a while to pay and they might not pay you at that time they originally said they would trust me I've had experience with them I understand how this goes um, but the thing about it is they can be very loyal and very steadfast, but it's hard for me to say that they are the most reliable of the zodiac signs. They might be one of them, but I think they missed the mark by a little bit. But anyway, going to Virgo. Well, the zodiac sign Virgo, of course, can really epitomize punctuality and reliability. They're often very diligent and dutiful workers. Their reliability um, I mean, is really very strong, may nearly be unsurpassed. The thing about uh, Virgo, though, I mean, they are uh, often very indefatigable workers there, and they're also very punctilious with details. If you're going to give, like, a Virgo some kind of assignment or something to do, they could do it with a lot of, be very scrupulous and be very meticulous with details. They're very punctilious with details, Virgo. So it's really... They could often do that job very correctly. But the thing about it is where it's hard to be, where, where Virgo can fail in their reliability, it seems like, is when uh, you take, for example, I mean, well, just in general adversity, uh, if it's because of their worrisome nature and the fact that they can, I mean, they're very nervous people often, and the fact they might panic a little bit, they're in some kind of crisis situation, can they be relied on to help you? Are they going to worry, well, am I going to get hurt? Is this going to happen? If they have to get, uh, say, into a physical confrontation on one's behalf, as an example. And I've known some Virgos, you know, like that, uh, you know, and they're, they're basically kind of like, well, no, that's your problem, not mine. They don't want to really, you know, it's like getting the hands dirty when they have to, so to speak. So, uh, and, and really, and don't get me wrong, they're very reliable as far as matters connect pertaining to employment, what have you. And they're often very self-effacing. They'll often do something and not even want to take credit or get any accolades for what they do. But they're just, I think they may fall a little short. They're definitely, I'll tell you whether I think it's them or not at the end of the video. But anyway, going to Libra. 
Well, the thing about Libra is Libra likes to balance things, of course. They often want to ingratiate themselves up with others. They're very sociable. They could be counted on for commitments that are uh, connected with their uh, relationships, basically. Well, the thing about it is when it's some other things, there might be some tasks they, you know, somebody needs them to do. The thing about them is Libra can be a little bit relaxed and often that excessive time that they have in terms of their socializing may take precedence over other uh, issues, over things when somebody might need them for something. And really, it's hard for me to put Libra as far as, a, as, far as the most reliable a zodiac sign and the thing about it is I mean they are very fair-minded people they'll try to make their fair time for people when necessary but because they're trying to think trying to balance that energy with so many people and disperse that energy so evenly it makes it difficult for them to be uh, the most reliable of uh, the zodiac signs hold on a moment people sorry about that I'm back but anyway well, going to Scorpio. Well, Scorpio certainly can be a viable candidate for the most reliable of the zodiac signs. They can have, I mean, Scorpio is a fixed sign. They have an indomitable spirit. I think they may, I mean, they're unequivocally, I think, the strongest zodiac sign because of that, largely due to their indomitable spirit and their resiliency. And but Scorpio could have a very intractable, willful nature and very determined. And when they start something, they will often finish, and people can often count on them. Uh, to deal to to be there for them in crisis or adversity, but the thing about um, Scorpio is, I, I think with them, what with the thing that would bother me is that they uh, can sometimes become very vengeful and vindictive, and it may be over something that may be trivial. It might be something misconstrued. It might have just been a general statement, and what happens is they may kind of turn on that person that they were going to be there for originally sometimes due to that their reliability basically goes out the door i mean they could i mean they kind of go will sometimes turn on that person because they feel maybe something was was said and it was pertaining to them they thought you might have made a subtle dig about them sometimes it can even be connected with jealousy and you first figure well edwin how does what does that have to do with reliability well the thing about it is that Scorpio is doing something like there's some project or something involved with someone and they feel maybe somebody's showing them up or there they seem better than they are what are more proficient at something maybe jealousy at time I think jealousy at times can play a role into whether they uh, they may actually be there for that person and be dependable or reliable or what have you uh, because what happens is uh, their jealousy might interfere with what they have to actually do as far as for uh, that person and whether it, it, it's just something about their nature. And don't get me wrong, Scorpio could be very obsessive and fixated on things and they can stay with a lot of projects through thick and thin because of it. But they, at the same time, they could turn away with that same intensity. I think that they, they can stay with a certain task or project or something that whatever might need to be done for somebody. So anyway, well, going to Sagittarius, well, Sagittarius, it's very hard for me to say that they would be uh, really the most reliable of the zodiac signs. They're very similar to Gemini. Gemini really doesn't want to be pinned down as far as a mental level goes. But Sagittarius are more physical. They could be very flighty and restless, and they're very mandarin. They could be very adventurous. They don't, if somebody becomes boring to them or a situation, like Gemini, they could take off it, but I mean, Sagittarius may even go to another country, and they might really uh, take off at a good uh, at a good distance. Gemini just will not mentally be be pinned down to a situation often, and they might actually stay in that vicinity. I think Sagittarius, being the sign connected with long journeys, they uh, may actually. Uh, take off and not and, and really just go on uh, seek greener pastures at an, a completely different location uh, the thing about it is they if some again if something becomes overly monotonous with Sagittarius they'll often extricate themselves from that situation and Sagittarius and the thing about them too is I mean they got that what me worry type philosophy 
And the thing, the thing with them is, if you ask them, I mean, they're kind of like Gemini in a way. If you confront them about something, well, you know, why weren't you there at a certain time or this and that? And they'll just, uh, you know, they'll blow it off or they might change the subject and they just, they, they'll look at you like, you know, they don't understand why you asked them that. And that they'll try to make it sound so insignificant and trite and trivial when the reality is it might have actually had some importance to that person that was questioning them about that. So anyway, but that's, it's, yeah, it's hard for me to really say that Sagittarius could be. Uh, really that most reliable of the uh, of the zodiac signs now as far as um, is there in Sagittarius just wants to always explore and their need for adventure and they just you know if you try to pin them down for a for something for a protracted period they may not want that because that prohibits them from going to wherever it is they want to go whatever location it might be or what have you so anyway now going to Capricorn well, Capricorn certainly can be a viable candidate. They are a very steady Earth sign. They're known for notorious, really, for their consistency. And they are, though, uh, they emphasize a lot of premeditation and planning. And they like to have their things uh, planned out. And they, uh, you know, if, you, if they got to be somewhere at a certain time, they often will be the ones that will compile They'll, they'll make that list, they'll write things down, they'll get it ready for them. So even for the next day, they are ready and to do what they have to do. And it, and, it, and it gives them very strong reliability. The only thing, the thing about Capricorn, though, I mean, their, their own interests, though, will often take precedence over others. They're very capable of looking after their own interests. They have their reliability very strongly embedded them, embed, embedded in them, connected with their interests. But the thing about it is when it's something uh, with other people, it can, may, it, it, it can be a little bit difficult if it's not career or ambition related, if it's not a personal gain for Capricorn. It's not to say that Capricorn can't have any loyalty to, to other people, but the thing is, they are, um, the thing about it too is it, it's just with them, sometimes that cold or callous streak that they can have yeah, indicates to me that they might not be there for that moral, emotional support that others may need at times. And that to me, uh, but they are at least close to the most reliable zodiac sign. I'll let you know at the end of the video whether I choose them or not. Now, going to Aquarius. Well, Aquarius to me, I mean, they, I mean, I understand they're a fixed sign and they have a lot of determination. They could be very willful. They're, they have a very strong fixity and purpose and single-mindedness. But the, although Aquarius is the nonconformist of the Zodiac, they're about their freedom and independence. They often want to adhere to their own schedule and not those of others. I had an Aquarius son friend one time where she said she worked at a place where she actually made her own schedule. They could be reliable in terms of their own schedule when they think they need to be somewhere at a certain time, but not necessarily somebody else dictating that course of action uh, to them. They are uh, an Aquarius, even though it's a fixed sign, they could have somewhat erratic and sporadic energy and they could be very unpredictable. It is a sign that, I mean, which makes it hard for them to be really the most reliable of the zodiac uh, signs. Now, they could be reliable to some degree as far as their friendships go, because as I've stated in previous videos, I mean, they're like that universal friend. But the thing about it is there is a detached nature uh, with Aquarius, which might, which what happens with them because of that detachment it's hard for them to always consistently be there for a certain person or you know at consistently because they have that need to stay detached they they're the type of people that make their acquaintances easily but their friendships the the strong uh really the that really the strong powerful connections are hard for them uh to make and because they're more about uh really just having you know being friendly with a lot of people, but not having the really strong commitment, generally speaking. So anyway, it's hard for me to say that they are the most uh, reliable zodiac sign. Now going to Pisces. Well, Pisces, um, it's hard for me to say they'd be the most reliable of the zodiac signs. They are 
to me, when, when I see them, a lot of it has to do with indolence and the lackadaisical nature by many Pisces. The thing about it is it's hard to count on Pisces for a lot of things because sometimes uh, they often will want to daydream and fantasize as opposed to actually doing something. And they could be very apathetic as well. A lot of times I've seen Pisces where there's just a complete you know, disinterest in, uh, in, in things. And I had a friend of mine that, that worked with me once um, at a retail store one time. He's a Pisces son and likely Taurus ascendant, depending on that, the exact time of birth. But he was somebody that... Um, I think this is more Pisces than the Taurus, but anyway, he said uh, somebody had, uh, the manager couldn't understand why he couldn't get in on time, and he, so he responded, he, he told me afterwards, the guy that, that was, um, that, you know, that the manager spoke to about not getting to work on time, he said to me that he had to have a bowl of cereal, so I mean, you know, it's kind of like that almost epitomizes the Piscean uh, nature. Now, and they also, sadly, Pisces, of course, could have, I believe, can have the greatest propensity for drugs and alcohol, and that can cause some procrastination in putting things off, too, and not being, that could affect their reliability and dependability. And again, going back to being apathetic, that can play the role as well. So it's hard for me to say that Pisces would be the most reliable of the zodiac signs. Now, uh, the, what I'm going to do is now is unveil what I believe is the uh, most reliable of the zodiac signs since I've gone through all 12 of them. Now, I do believe um, Taurus is uh, the most reliable of uh, the zodiac signs. And the thing about it is because, I mean, given Taurus is a fixed sign and they're an earth sign, they're very stable and grounded. They don't really have much deviation from day to day. They're very predictable and predictability can be good because it often is there's a correlation with predictability and dependability. Uh, the thing about it is, I mean, Taurus will even sadly stay in relationships that could be detrimental to them for uh, a very protracted period. I mean, their loyalty... I believe is unsurpassed and the thing is going back to the fact that they are fixed and a uh, fixed and earth sign they could be exceptionally stable if you want a job done right it might be done in a very methodical and even plotting manner but if you want it done correctly it's generally I think it's advisable to give it to a, uh, a Taurus because they have the patience and the perseverance and the persistence to get the job done properly uh, for you and the thing about it too is and in a crisis situation, emergency, Taurus can often be that one that could be very unflappable and have a lot of composure and be able to do what is needed to be done in that crisis uh, emergency uh, situations. Now, Virgo uh, falls a little short because I understand Virgo by many may, may be seen as the, really the most reliable uh, of the zodiac signs, but because their their strong work ethic, their punctuality, being punctilious with details, being able to do a job very scrupulously, but Virgo, as I've stated before, when it's in a situation when when it's some kind of adversity, they could become a little bit frazzled, and it's, sometimes it could be hard to rely or depend on them when in those situations because because of that um you know something with uh i mean when you when you look at some other signs too the lit we're in uh, i mean again virgo can be very nervous and get very frazzled at certain adverse situations when when there's some kind of strong adversity now leo i choose i mean taurus over leo because leo i mean even though they're i mean they're a fixed sign they're a little bit high strung and is what i t and the thing about them is that could get them a little bit excited in some adverse situations as well where taurus really could stay a lot more calm more composed in those situations leo can be kind of high strung like gemini but it's a little bit more angry high strung if you know what i'm saying more acrimonious high strung energy as opposed to just animating just really excited real just general excitable energy from gemini the thing um so as in Scorpio, it can really be a sign that can be dependent on to keep their cool in a crisis and clutch situations. But Scorpio does have very strong emotions and that can play a role at times because they're so emotionally intense. And that can play a role as to whether 
they they can really um, fully do what they have to do all the time in the crisis situation don't get me wrong crisis is associated with the zodiac sign scorpio but it still can be tough for them at times to deal with those situations given this strong emotional nature and aquarius is certainly just very unpredictable and they may not even know what they're going to do in that emergency situation where taurus is basically they're known for their stalinness and their stability and they generally are the ones that will handle those situations the best and they're the ones that could be depended on uh the most remember taurus is about uh endurance and they're about their and they're about and they could be in, enduring friends to uh some somebody and they can often stay with the project through thick and thin regardless of their setbacks and um where other people may become exasperated and tired of something after a certain amount of time taurus will be the one on average to stay with it through thick and thin so those are some ways um so basically that is what i want to say again i do believe taurus is the most reliable of the zodiac signs anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time people edwin learn saying stay well